you brought up uh, Laura Finesse. It seems like y'all did a lot of work with different members of digging in the crates. Did, did y'all kind of <laughs> meet up with them at once, or was it just like? Nah, um, so like Buck, Buck Wild, um, when once we got the deal and they was asking us, of course, you know, who we wanted to work with producer wise, we was like, I right, Primo, Lost Pro. Uh, we was naming all the people we thought we could work with, but they was like, yo, y'all ain't got that budget. I was like, okay. So I, the A&R dude was like, pick somebody else. So he, they said, yo, we got T-Ray. You know, I said, okay, I know him. I know of his stuff. So, okay, we were going to work with him. But then I was like, well, what about the dude that did that record, uh, Camp Front, with Sadat and Diamond? Mm. And, and, and for that, he was like, oh, that's Buck Wild. He said, okay, let's get him. So he set up a meeting in the studio um, to meet him. And at the same time, Rock Raider was in the studio with Buck. Buck used to bring him to the studio to, if he needed any scratches on the song or whatever like that. So we met them, um, you know, and, and instantly, right, the first day, Buck just was playing some beats. And we was like, okay, dope, dope. And he saw he, something wasn't clicking. And he made the come on with the get down beat, like, right there in the studio in our face. We was like, oh, shit, that bet. So, you know, then we got the, wow. and then, like, uh, Finesse came because, you know, he saw me and Tame after a Zulu Nation show. And asked us, you know, he said, yo, I got something for y'all. It's raining outside. He in the car. And we stick our head in the car. And there's the beat for collaboration of mics. We're like, damn, this shit hard. So he, he gave us the tape right there. And we went home, you know. And he took, we met him in the studio. Because it wasn't no such thing as MP3 sending us that this, that, and whatever. So we was always CD or tape. So we got that. Uh, worked with him with that. And had Jamar on that song. Uh, Easy LP. Uh, DITC member as well. Um, he uh, he worked with us uh, on the oh, Dynamite yeah. Soul remix, Dynamite Soul remix, and the song "Who I Am." Um, and Showbiz, we got to finally work with him on the uh, Ultimate Remix. So when you're a fan of all these guys, you know of Showbiz and AG, of OC, of Organized Confusion, these guys work with. You know, a lot of these people that, like I said, verbally, we listen to as artists. So it was only right. Like, and it was funny with Showbiz because he, when we got the chance to work with him, he was like, look, I heard about y'all through Raider, through AG, Finesse, but now I get my chance. I want, I want to go make a dope ass record. I was like, so, you know, that showed him how much work we put in that he felt like that about working with us. So only thing I asked him after a while, I was like, well, shit, we don't work with all y'all. Why don't y'all just put this in DITC? <laughs> man, I'd have been tired. would have been dope. Hey, look, wow. I told AG, he's like, I got to talk to show on that one. Right, right. Because they, they so deep, but they they definitely some nah, giants. Nah, that's that's they can wrong, produce, man. they can rap, yeah. they can do it all. Now, now, since we speaking on DITC, I want to ask you this. Did you ever interact or meet or uh, work with Big L? Actually, we we did a show with Big O, um, in in um in the Bronx uh, back when uh, his album came out, and um I actually got to talk to him. It was me and him outside. We were smoking, and um I told him that day how much of a beast he was on the mic, and he was a real modest dude, man. Like he was real quiet, but it's just funny when you see that in the person and you hear their bars and you're like, God, dude, deadly. So I got to meet him on on yeah. one occasion. One occasion. 